Hi there! Welcome ulit sa video ni Sir Bry at nandito ka ngayon sa lesson niya about business mathematics. At ang pag-aaralan natin sa video na to ay tungkol naman sa markdown. Ano nga ba yung markdown? Markdown is the reduction in the selling price of the merchandise. Kung napapansin ninyo, halimbawa may isang company na nagtitinda nitong product na ito at yung product na ito ay hindi bumenta. Para mabili yun, binababaan nila ang presyo. Yun ang tinatawag nating markdown. Nilalagyan nila ng amount ng pagbaba. Kaya tinawag siyang markdown. Paano nga ba malaman ang markdown amount ng isang item? Merong dalawang formula na pwedeng gamitin. Yung first formula, markdown is equal to current selling price minus new selling price. And the second one, kapag naman meron tayong markdown percentage na given, markdown is equal to the markdown percentage times current selling price. Para mas maintindihan natin yung dalawang formula na meron tayo kanina, let us have some examples. First example, how much markdown percentage was applied to a cell phone whose previous price is 21,300 pesos and is now sold for 18,300 pesos. So dito makikita kagad natin na ang hinahanap ay yung markdown percentage. At meron tayong current selling price at meron din tayong new selling price. Ilista natin lahat yan sa ating given. Given are CSP, which is our current selling price, na 21,300. And then hinahanap ang ating markdown percentage at ang ating markdown amount. Given din ang ating new selling price, which is 18,300 pesos. Since nakikita natin na meron tayong current selling price at meron tayong new selling price, we can use the first formula para mahanap natin yung markdown. Then, markdown amount is equal to current selling price minus new selling price. Substituting all the values, we will have 21,300 minus 18,300 pesos. And we can now get 3,000 which is our markdown amount. We can now substitute this markdown amount to our next formula. We can now have 3,000 is equal to markdown percent times 21,300 which is our current selling price. Dividing both sides by 21,300 para ma-isolate natin si markdown percent, we can now get our markdown percentage. 3,000 divided by 21,300 is 14.08%, which is our markdown percentage. Problem solved. Now let's move on to our second example. A shirt is previously sold at 230 pesos. Today, it sells for 150 pesos. How much is the markdown percentage? So parang yung problem lang natin kanina. Ang hinahanap ay yung markdown percentage. At meron ulit tayong current selling price at meron tayong new selling price. Lista lang natin yung given para hindi tayo malito. Our CSP is 230 pesos. Nawawala ang ating markdown percentage at yung ating markdown amount. At meron din tayong new selling price na 150 pesos. Using this formula, we can now determine our markdown amount. Markdown amount is equal to 230 minus 150 pesos giving us a markdown amount of 80 pesos. Ngayon na alam na natin ang ating markdown amount, we can now substitute it to this formula. So, kapag sinubstitute natin yan, 
at yung ating current selling price, we can now have 80 is equal to MD percent times 150. We can now divide both sides by 150 para ma-isolate natin yung markdown percent. And the 80 over 150, as we all know, is 53.33%. And that is our markdown percentage. Problem solved. Now for our last problem, we have find the previous selling price of the jogger punts which now sells at 550 passes which was given a markdown percentage of 39%. So kung titignan natin, nagbago yung problem natin. Ang hinahanap po sa atin ngayon ay yung previous selling price or yung current selling price ng jogger punts natin. At ang given sa atin ay yung new selling price na 550 pesos at yung markdown percentage na 39%. Lista natin yung given. So, yung CSP natin ngayon yung nawawala. Pagkatapos, yung markdown percentage natin given na siya this time, which is 39%. Kinahanap din natin yung markdown amount. At yung ating new selling price ay given din. Yun yung 550 pesos. Upon looking at the two formula, we can now use our second formula since it contains markdown percentage. We can now have this. Substituting all the values, we can say our markdown is equal to 0 0.39. That is our markdown percentage. And then CSP. Kung naaalala ninyo yung ginawa natin sa markup kanina, pinag-isa natin to para maging isang term. Magiging MD is equal to 0.39 CSP. Pagkatapos, saka natin siya isa substitute dito sa susunod na formula. Substituting our markdown amount and our new selling price, we can now have 0.39 CSP is equal to CSP minus 550. Now, we can transpose CSP na sinabi ko nga nung mga nakaraan na ito ay isang variable or isang term na merong invisible 1. So, lilipat natin siya sa kabila. We can now have 0.39 CSP minus CSP since positive siya dito pag tinranspose mo siya magiging negative. So, applying the necessary operations, we can now have 0.61 CSP is equal to 550. Dividing both sides by 0.61, we can now have 901.64 pesos as our current selling price. Problem solved.